Welcome to the challenge. I'm your host today, Neil from UMG. Today's special challenge is PBJ. How do you like your PBJ? Do you use wheat or white? Do you toast it, non toast it? What type of jelly do you use? Grape, strawberry? What you have to do is hashtag watch the show, hashtag PBJelly to help me figure out who has the best PBJ. Alright, so let's meet our contestants. First, we're going to take it up north to Baltimore for TJ from Brainstream. Alright, so guys, yeah, we, we're talking PBJ challenge. Please don't think who makes the, trying to figure out who makes the best PBJ. It's obvious I make the best PBJ. Let me, let me take these glasses off real quick so we can tell you how serious it is. It's already started. I've already prepped. You know, got the bread going on. It's like old time. She met, got ahead on time. She met. So then that, you see this? You gotta make it, you gotta, you see that? It's called a toaster. A little toaster, a little toaster action, a little toaster action. All right? Get a little bit of a toast on it. It's just hot enough. Shoot it out so it's a little bit of a little crisp. Just kind of a little crisp. A little bit of this right here, right? It's the bad boy special. Get that little gloss going on it. Hot enough just to get a little bit of that margarine, that little butter. Just a little bit, just a tad. Get a little bit of that butter nice and glazed on it. Nice and glazed. You get a little bit nice and glazed. Never PB with a spoon. Never PB with a spoon. Okay? Should be able to get just enough pee, baby. Don't throw the layers, man. Remember, your bread's a little crispy, so you don't want to spread it too hard. Your jelly. Now, usually Welch, but sometimes if you don't got the Welch out the can, I mean out the, uh, out the container, you want to grab the little spread out of bang that right there. Make sure you put it on the side where you spread that butter. Okay, nice little groove going. Jelly going real nice, nice. Gotta make sure you get all, all the crevices. Once you get it popped on, right? Make sure it's even. Gotta make sure it's even. Now, gotta cut now. Gotta cut. You wanna cut it. Not down the middle. Gotta be diagonal. Gotta be diagonal. Very important. Nice consistency, that nice consistency. That's what you want right in between. Perfect. Perfect PBJ. Thank you. TJ. Best PBJ around. My man TJ brought out the toaster. That's a special. Everybody doesn't have a toaster, so he's cheated, but I like what he's doing with it. You gotta get that toast combo together. TJ, you're in the lead right now. Contestant number two is the commish from DMV Red Zone. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, the commish, coming to you live. We about to give you a real live tutorial on how to make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, man. As you can see right here, we got our bread lightly toasted, already ready for you. We got milk. Jeff peanut butter, man. The best peanut butter. Don't let nobody ever tell you nothing different. Welch is great. If you're not making peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Welch is great jelly. You already wrong off the break. And the secret ingredient, sir. I'm going to show you how it all comes together right now. We're going to take the jelly and we're going to whip it up. You're going to have a hard time spraying your jelly. Because you don't whip it up first, you gotta whip it up. You gotta whip it up like that. Watch how easily that spreads. Check that out, check it out. Bam, you go from the middle to the corner. From the middle to the corner, take the access from the middle to the corner. Y'all see that? Y'all see how easily that spread? It ain't no white spots on the bread. None of that. After you get the jelly evenly spread, we're gonna move to the peanut butter and do the exact same, we're gonna whip it up. You know, a lot of us, man, had to have peanut butter and jelly for a little longer than it was intended to. So you gotta mix it up, because it might be a little stale. Same thing with the bread. If you didn't know, if you toast the bread lightly, 
You bread a little old, man. You won't be able to taste that staleness, man, because it's toasted. <laughs> you learn something new every day. Once you get your peanut butter and jelly together on the bread, what you're going to do, you're going to cut it in thirds. See, a lot of people cut it in half. Some people cut it diagonally. For me, I like to cut it in thirds, like this. Check this out. Now you got like French toast sticks. See, a lot of people don't understand that. It helps stretch the peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, make it a little bit more than what you bargained for. Then you're going to take the syrup, a real delicate process. You're going to take it, and you're going to pretty much glaze it over the peanut butter and jelly sandwich like it was a glazed cake. After that, take a chop, Take a squeeze of the milk. And you got yourself a delicacy, man. Peanut butter and jelly sandwich extraordinaire. Been doing it for over 25, 30 years. Y'all know what it is. Witness the evolution. And peanut butter and jelly sandwich making came on. My man commissions. He a little heavy on the PBJ, but I like what he's doing. Tony and Denise from Tone Drone. They will be doing a separate challenge, but they represent Tone Drone. Hey, this your boy from Tone Drone. Yeah, I'm up for the PV challenge too. You see what I'm saying? We're gonna make this thing work, huh? You know what I'm saying? You got the knife. You got the bread. Look at the bread. See the bread? Yeah, we up for the challenge. You see how we going here? Yeah, ninja style, that's right, going in the refrigerator, yeah, to get that jelly, yeah, that's what we trying to do here, yeah, the challenge is real, that's right, I'm trying to win that, you know what I'm saying, yeah, we ain't playing, yeah, yep, and guess what, gotta have that spread, yeah, huh, Peter Pan, he's the man. And now I'm down with a discount. Who down with PBJ? Who down with PBJ? Who down with PBJ? You down with PBJ? You down with PBJ? You down with PBJ? You down with PBJ? Skippy and Witty. Yeah. Who down with PBJ? Who down with PBJ? You down with PBJ? You down with PBJ? You down with PBJ? You down with PBJ? Who down with PBJ? Yeah! Okay, I see Tony has on the mask. He's looking good. Sandwich a tad bit dry, but I like what he's doing. He's ready. Let's get it. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Denise from the Union Media Group. Guess what? We're doing our first live challenge. That's right. Who makes the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich? We have five contestants. Neil, the Kamish, TJ, Tony, and yours truly, Denise. Here we go. The best peanut butter and jelly sandwich. You start out with bread. Wheat bread, not the white stuff. Honey, wheat bread. Then you use Peter Pan peanut butter. Not that Jif stuff, Peter Pan. Next, there's Smucker's strawberry jelly. I know my counterparts will probably be using that Welch's grape jam or any kind of grape jam, but this is my jelly of choice. Think outside of the box. You distribute the jelly evenly, thoroughly, I'm um, gonna make the bread soggy, but get it all over there. That's right. Every nook and cranny. And do the same with the peanut butter. 
Distribute it evenly, not too much. You don't want a choke sandwich. You put them together. You cut it horizontally. Diagonally. Voila, the best peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Okay, Denise, I see what you're doing. It's classic, it's right to the point. I like it, let's get it. What, what y'all think about Denise's sandwich? And last but not least, I'll be joining the challenge as well. Neil, representing the huddle. Yeah. Hey, look, make sure y'all follow, like, and subscribe. Hashtag PBJ challenge. So here's the key to a great PBJ. You gotta do the unexpected. So first of all, most people go spend all that money doing a Rona and go get that expensive PBJ. This is all I can get. That's what it matters to a PBJ. There you go. So you got your PB and your jelly. You gotta go with the grape jelly. People that get strawberry, y'all like that. All right, that's, that's rock. That's how we do it. You get two pieces of bread, toast them things. Put it on three. Put it on, you want it to be about that complexion. If it's this complexion, it's too bad. If it's this, it's just right, all right? Toast ready. All right, boom, ready. Got your three pieces. Most people use a spoon and where they, they go wrong is they get too much butter. You know what I mean? There ain't enough juice for this much butter. Stop it, you know what I mean? Get you the knife and spread that thing. Watch this, bow, 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 bow. And you out of there. Even, even. Boom. Get that other piece. Bow, bow, bow. Bow, bow, bow. Boom. Spread that thing. Hit the corners. Don't cheat. Hit the corners. Bow. Now you're good. Now what you want to do, you don't want to do too mitts, mitch matching. You know what I mean? So there go the peanut butter. Boom. Get your jelly. Make sure everything good. Bloop. Now here's the key. Bow. Lay that thing. Put it to sleep, you know what I mean? Boom, spread that. Hey now, you're a rock star. Boom. You know what I mean? Blow. What you do, take that. Ski boot, send it on vacation. Bow. Now you know they gotta go on vacation too, hold on. You hear that, you gotta hit the side wing. Absolutely. Boom. And what you do here is spread that. Don't cheat, no cheat codes. Bring it back. Boom. I think McDonald's was trying to get one of these at the time, but then you bring that over there. I call this the best of both worlds. You hear me? Ooh, I see you smiling. I see you. Now look at that there. Boom. Challenge accepted. All right, welcome back to the challenge. You've seen all the contestants, you've seen the sandwiches. Some are here, some are there, and some are here. But we need your help to figure out who's the winner. If you like Tony, say one. If you like Denise, say two. If you like the commish, Say three, TJ four, and myself is five. Please hashtag PB and J challenge and put your comments below. We'll see you next time for next week's challenge.